Okay, so right now I'm in Podgorica, Montenegro. I'm going to see a play right now. Um, in this video I'm going to show you Podgorica. It's a city that has changed names five times, including the name Titograd, on honor of Tito, the, basically the ruler of uh, Yugoslavia. It was completely destroyed two times, and it has gone from the Romans to the Turks to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So it's a very interesting place, so I hope uh, the information is cool. Okay, so this one is the Natural uh, History Museum of Montenegro, and basically it's very small, but it has a lot of information about the flora and fauna here in Montenegro, including some animals that have been taxidermite, taxidermite, uh, like wolves, uh, birds, uh, bears, and other other animals, and also they have uh, uh, fossils. So. It's, so this one here is the Museum and Galleries of Podgorica. It was uh, constituted in 1950 and it's, it's a nice museum. It has two parts. One is the uh, focus more in art, particularly paintings. And it's very interesting. They have very good exhibitions. And the other one is focused on history and ethnography. And it's also very nice. The, the good part is that it's completely free. It's, Okay, so this is uh, the King's Park. Unfortunately, it's uh, closed right now. In 2013, they received uh, quite some money from Azerbaijan just to make it nicer. And it looks like it worked, but again, it's closed right now. You can see these letters that I assume that they are in Cyrillic, and it's this one uh, it sounds like an N. And probably it's the uh, Nicola, uh, Nicola the First, which was the last, um, um, yeah, the last king here. So unfortunately closed, but looks that it would be nice to visit. Okay, and this one is the Galerija Centar. Um, basically, it's a branch of the Podgorica's uh, Contemporary Art Center. And you can see that they have um, exhibitions, all of them are temporary, uh, from Montenegrian artists. And yeah, it's uh, like a small gallery. It's... Okay, so you can see the um, gallery there. And in this side, on front of it, you can see the statue of Nicola last king from um, Montenegro and you can see what I was telling you in a previous video that the H is actually an N and that inverted N is actually an E so it's Nicola or an I so it's Nicola and the statue is very cool actually right now with the, the clouds and everything else. Okay, so this one is a, the, the Rivnica River you can see here an Ottoman bridge that crossed to the Rivnica Fortress and basically this um, water and everything it's a little bit it has kind of garbage but it's cool that they uh, reach to this fortress that is from the 15th century it's basically ruins from the Ottoman uh, times but it's worth coming actually it looks nice okay, and this area here it's known as the beach and usually on summer there's uh, restaurants and bars like this mall there and they can just um, just chill here maybe some people swimming I'm not sure and this is where the two rivers converge with this uh, this is the um, bridge there are some people right now um, that they are fishing despite being so cold and rainy but in summertime it's a different story so this is the Skandal Church mosque from the 15th century as you can see, the minaret is the only thing that remains from the 15th century when it was built. It has uh, gone through many renovations uh, because it has been destroyed many times, including during the famous earthquake that happened here that I talked about it in another video. Um, okay, so this one is the Staravaros neighborhood. This is where the mosque is. And it, it has been here from like around 400 years. So the neighborhood exists since 1474 when the Ottomans Turkish uh, took over Montenegro. Right now we are going to go to another mosque that is also quite important here. Okay, and this one is Osmanagic uh, Mosque of the 18th century. And it has been renovated in 2011 with money from the Turkish government after it was a victim of an attack, an arson attack. So right now this is the renovated uh, building. 
So this is the uh, clock tower. And basically it was used during Ottoman uh, times to announce uh, every time the uh, pray prayer times. You can see that is in the Starabaros Square. I'm in St. George Church, and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. But I just want to show you like these tombs that have been just dig up, and I don't know if it's like people did it or something happened or they got sunk. I don't know. Interesting. And this church is under the um, Gorica Mountain, like on the lower part. And actually, Pod Gorica means under Gorica, so it's under the mountain. Corica Mountain. We're going to enter and the POV you will be able to see it. And you can see here that you have this space for the candles because it's an Orthodox church. And as far as I know, on top is for the living and under is for the dead. And it's kind of an old church. It has some very uh, old frescoes. And this is uh, the Millennium Bridge. It has 173 meters long. And it's like a cable bridge and it crosses the Morosha River, that is this one. And yeah, from here where I am standing is the Moscow Bridge. Maybe they did it with support from Russia and this is only for people to uh, cross, not with cars. You can see there the Millennium Bridge, then the Moscow Bridge. There here, there is a statue of uh, Vladimir Visonsky, who was a um, songwriter and a singer. You can see the statue with like his shirtless with a guitar and a skull there. I don't know about his music, his music, but I'm, I'm going to try to listen to it. You can see here the Cathedral of uh, the Resurrection of Christ. It was finished in 2013. The cross is not, you don't see many like this. It's an Orthodox uh, cathedral. It's, this has been one of my favorite cathedrals right now. You can see how all the base looks like very rustic and it uh, just goes more refined. It's very nice and also it has a controversial image. I think it's inside because I was looking outside and I don't find it. An image of Tito, Engels and Marx just burning in hell. Very, very nice church. Look the carves, very, the carving very cool. you remember uh, Petrovac first Petrovich in Sotinia? Well, there is a sculptor here made out of bronze and it's basically in um, one of the most um, busy areas because of this roundabout and the city itself is quite big or modern. It looks um, a little bit like the nice parts of Mexico City in a tiny version. This is the Petrovic uh, Palace from the 19th century and now is the center of uh, contemporary art of Montenegro. They have many exhibitions, right now they have one permanent, I think it's from Bolivia or that's what it looks mostly from Bolivia and here they have in this great uh, building they have um, an exhibition, of, like photography exhibition about the past of time. And there in the gray one is where the guard used to stay. And this is where, of course, the rich family used to stay. But just look, the size is really big. The entrance is right there, so they have a lot of garden. They have a church there, they have a gazebo and some sculptures here. So to conclude, uh, here in Pocorica, I'm going to show you this monastery, that Jabave Monastery. It was founded in 1897. And supposedly it also has a monastery inside of a cave. So I'm going to try to show you that in case it's open. It's five kilometers away from Pocorica. Okay, so right now I'm inside of the monastery. And you can see that it has been carved and, and in the stone and it has some frescoes. The monk that did the frescoes, he died in 1941 and he was doing the frescoes until the day he died.